over here. Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. Hello, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. In this case, it is Moss Mother Cave, and it's a small cave you will come upon while exploring Skyrim. And Valder, who you meet, is a hunter who ended up with friends going into the cave and being ambushed by Spriggan. You can help him out or you can leave him alone. It doesn't matter. Once you discover the cave, you can enter at any point in time you want to. In this case, Valder is a guy, if you help, will lead you to becoming Thane of Falkareth and eventually being able to build a house. So let's get on with this adventure into Moss Mother Cave. Hello? You! Over here! Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Niels went down before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Ah, hurts to breathe. I just need a little to get going. Much better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. But now what? I can't just walk away. Not with my friend's bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. You'd do that for a stranger? I don't know what to say. Lead on, I suppose. I have yet to abandon Valdar. And I suppose someone could do a video on what happens when you do so. But you enter the cave, and right away there's the body of his friend. And you can harvest all the stuff. There's a pelt of, or dead bear. The first Spriggan comes in right away, and you just got to fight. Spriggans will regenerate. Uh, fire is an effective way to fight them. And in this case, the first one went down pretty quick. So, you can talk to Valder, or you can keep moving forward. There will be a bear and some other Spriggans. I'm going to let this play out so you can see how things happen. If your character is at a decent level, like 20, 25, and you have decent heavy armor on, you should be able to take down the Spriggan. Valder will help by shooting arrows at them. The last Spriggan should be right here. Done then. Justice, if you can call it that. Look, I want you to have this. I know it isn't much, but it's important to me. Ari gave me this dagger when we first started hunting together. I always said it brought her luck. You should be the one to carry it now. I'll give them a proper burial, then head back. Come find me if you're ever in Falkreath. You'll always be welcome at my door. If your character is higher than in the 20s, if you're in like 30, level, you'll probably get Spriggan Mothers as well, and it 
levels up the Spriggans to kind of match your player level. Now, if you explore around here, there's several ore veins, and there is also some chests. Take your time and explore the cave because there is some decent treasure around here. Uh, hanging moss for alchemy, etc. Again, this is a pretty straightforward, simple cave. The Spriggans will level up, and you will wind up, at, even at a lower level, they will be commiserate with what your character is capable of doing, though you may need a lot of healing potions if you are a lower level. Like I said, if you're about 20, 25, you'll get Spriggan. Around 30s, you'll get Spriggan Mothers, which are a more powerful Spriggan. But you got to walk around and explore all the aspects and nooks and crannies of the cave. At the top here, there is the Master Chest. Eh, some decent, decent um, weapons and armor and a few potions. Overall, like I said, Iron Sword, not worth it. I'm going to dump the hide boots. Yeah. And the, let's see, apparel. I dump the sword and the hide boots. They're not worth carrying unless they are enchanted. And I'm going to light up here a little bit. And if you walk around here, again, there's some alchemy ingredients and some hidden chests. Like right up in this area, there's nothing worth anything though. There's a few key points. Again, you got to walk around and look around. But once you, there's a gold coin purse right here. Bear pelt with bear claws are good. Uh, the bears are even leveled. If you are a little lower level, they will be just basic bears. Then they move up to cave bears, etc. Again, explore through the cave and look around. There is some other treasure chests and some decent treasure. Once you walk across the fallen tree, and I'll fast forward to that point. If you walk across this fallen tree, there is usually a chest somewhere. Yeah, I don't see it here. But in this area, there is probably, I don't see it. There's, like I said, usually there is a chest if you walk across the fallen tree. But I digress. This is a decent basic dungeon, which would yield, or should I say cave, which will yield some, I guess, decent treasure. Again, the Spriggans are leveled and the Bears are leveled. I'm going to fast forward to the end here. Once you exit the cave, you can come back multiple times. The Spriggans and Bears do not respawn. Uh, helping out Valder will go one more point to where you can help people out. You have to help three people out in order to become Thane of Falkareth. And helping out Valder does that. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I do four videos a week. If you like these types of videos, you know, or if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like these types of videos, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four times a week. And when I do post, those videos go into your feed. I thank those people who are subscribing. I thank those people who are watching. And I thank those people who are making comments. Again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, and thanks for stopping by.